Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to this edition of our Positive Word. I trust that you are well. Use your creativity. That is the topic for this session today. One thing I've come to realize is that a creative person has the ability to see, to look at something that is ordinary and they will see the extraordinary. While other people are seeing something that cannot be useful, a creative mind goes to work considering all the ways that it can use that thing to their advantage and that of others. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12, God will bless the work of your hands, among other things that that verse said. We have a God who created everything from nothing. We are in his image and we are meant to be, live like him. Let me read Exodus chapter 31 from verse 1. The Lord said to Moses, See, I have called by name Bezalel, son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with a divine spirit with ability, intelligence, and knowledge, and every kind of skill, to devise artistic designs, to work in gold, silver, and bronze, in cutting of stones, and in carving of wood, to every, to work in every kind of craft. This was God who called that person to work. He, Bezalel, was equipped and empowered by the Spirit of God, to create beautiful things. And you know what's amazing? We are also created in the same way, empowered and equipped by God. Every single one of us has that aspect of God to be creative. Being creative just like our Father is a must. I tell you, it takes courage to be creative because you will encounter more people who want to put you down, discourage you, and make light of the gift that you've got. But do not listen. Just go ahead and use your gift. Psalms 90 verse 17 tells us, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. It is God who establishes us. Your ingenious ideas have the power to initiate positive changes. God blessed us with all that we need. Hence he said, go into the world and multiply. He expects, expects us to be creative, not just in procreation to keep the human race going, but also in our resourcefulness at producing items, ideas, events, things, that will indicate his nature in us to glorify his name here on earth. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Yes, let your creative mind come alive to discover the marvelous in whatever you engage in. Be not afraid to make mistakes because you will unravel better ways to address issues after the mistake. You are not propelled by a competition or a desire to outsmart other people. No, your creative mind only wants to achieve and be more of help to others with what you can design or create. While it is great to be best at what we do, creativity is about service to others as you're about, as if you're doing it unto God. You are not driven by the need to beat them all. You just want to serve and let the world see to whom you belong. Your creativity can never run out, but you can allow it to die if you do not apply it while you are alive. Start where you are with what you have to do what you can. Your creativity is waiting to be displayed to the world. I tell you this, a creative individual does not conceal or distort the truth. They use their creativity to showcase and declare only the truth. My friend, use your creativity while you can. 
There is no other way to show how God has blessed us. Use it in whatever way, little way. Start small. We, 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 you can't go to the top all of a sudden. We have to start somewhere. Don't let people put you down. Encourage yourself. Ask God. Remember the Spirit of God is in us. We're not doing these things by ourselves, by our own might. It is the Lord God who is empowering us and granting us the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge, the resources, keeping us alive to achieve these things. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, go about using your creativity to the glory of our great God, who alone can be trusted in our things. God bless you.